Okay, so what's up everybody and welcome to yet another video from the Thrift Store Prepper. In today's video we're going to be looking how to utilize some of my um, storage containers and space as my uh, little prepper pantry has become quite overrun and over overflowing and if you caught the, the recent life um, feed uh, you'll see how uh, much things we have accumulated in, in the last couple of weeks. Um, and in the time since we started this little project and you know as as the weeks go on the stockpile continues to grow and um i've also acquired a few things and some of those things that i acquired were some storage buckets and i actually have here you can't quite catch it all if i zoom out a huge mylar bag which i was gonna make a super mega mega mre and um i actually have another one of these so maybe that might be a project but what i'm doing here is I'm going to take some of my dried um, items like the oatmeal, the rice, the beans, the things that are going to kind of take a lot of water to cook and going to take a lot of preparation to cook. Then I'm going to take them out of my prepper pantry. I'm going to put them as you can probably already see they're they're already in this, this bag. So um, what I'm going to do is we'll just get out everything that's in here and then we'll put it all back in and seal it up. So we have our powdered milk. We have some barley, we have our black beans, we have some couscous, uh, we have some rice, we have some orzo pasta, and the rest is just the oatmeal. We have three bags of uh, oatmeal here. So, uh, What I'm going to try and do is uh, put these all back into the bag the best we can so you can see what we've got. So there's, there's quite a lot of food here and it's all the stuff that is going to require some form of cooking. Um, so we have, you know, three big bags of uh, the minute oats here which we've got 900 gram bags and a suggested service size is 40 grams so you know what we've got quite a lot of servings in there so you know one two of those so we're going to get those two in i might leave one to the side because it's a little bit of a pipe so we're going to get our bag again and one two and the other thing we're going to put in definitely to go with our oatmeal is our yeah, we're trying to make things as flat as they can and squash stuff into gaps to make the most of the pieces. Now, we're going to put in our rice. Let's do the bag flat and it goes in a lot easier. Um, if you can position it's not going to be the best of you but I mean, I'm sure you get the idea so let's see if we can get another minute open if we can let's go with the couscous and the other I think we do need to come in from above to squash in No, maybe not the couscous. Let's go with the beans. Okay, the beans are in there. One, two couscous. The barley and the horse. So now we can seal that up. I don't know if you can still hear me or. If I've still got any viewers left. But once I've got it into the bag, I'm going to seal it up. Now, you could, if you wanted to, heat seal this, but I'm not going to because uh, we might get things out again. 
and have to rearrange them. And the next thing I'm going to do, bear with me, <laughs> is get our storage bucket. Now, we can put the bag in the storage bucket. I'm going to have to put this on the floor. And if we're lucky, we're going to be able to get the lid on. And seal this up. And we've managed to seal that. Kind of. It's a little bit over full. But... As you can see, we now have one complete sealed storage unit and I can put this to the side of my pantry out the way and uh, not have to worry too much about it because these are items I, I'm, I tend not to grab or use on a daily basis so that's that one. And the little one I did prepare earlier, we have the shorter ones here. And a few items I put in here were some um, freeze-dried scallop potatoes which I repackaged and sealed in one of my weed baggies. We've got a couple of packets of instant mashed potato that we took out of the box and repackaged in a trail mix bag. And the other things I have like some Jif lemon, some Aunt Jemima's, I've put my vinegar in here, a couple of bags. Um, some peanut butter and a couple of cans that didn't quite fit elsewhere so again we're gonna just put these items back in and we're gonna put on a lid and seal it up and there you go we've uh, utilized two of my storage containers that I brought home from work um, we've taken some stuff out of our prepper pantry and freed up some room for the things that I use on a more daily and weekly basis and the stuff that I kind of replenish as I go. Um, and that's about it. So, not the best videos, um, but it was a video nonetheless. So, it's a shit video production for the thrift store prepper. Thanks for watching.